Hello everyone and uh, welcome to today's Squeezebox Advent Calendar. Um, so what are we going to find today? Uh, yeah, it's little, isn't it? Um, we'll find out what's inside. Oh, look at that. It's a baby old Melodeon. <laughs> so uh, this is an instrument. Um, I'm going to have to put it a bit closer so you can actually see it. If I get my face out of the way, you can probably see the whole instrument. It's a classic uh, early part of the 1900s build I think. Um, on the front it's called La Petite. It's, but I suppose it's a 1910s or 1920s maybe even earlier version of um, of the mini melodeons you see sort of sold in toy shops but instead of being mass produced and uh, made on a machine out of plastic it's, uh, it's a sort of handmade wooden thing unlike the the modern ones it's actually got a full one two three four five six seven eight nine ten buttons on the right hand side although they don't uh, completely follow the scale that you'd normally get very interesting left hand with three buttons uh, these two do something and this one is uh, an air button in the middle but uh, it's also got an air button on the back <laughs> why have I got this well I couldn't couldn't see it for sale and not get it could I it's just a beautiful little real melodeon um, and uh, you know with, with, with a custom made hard case um, it's just a really nice little thing um, the I've still got the label I bought it from a, a man called Pete Grasby um, uh, who uh, who sells instruments and repairs them around um, the music scene and uh, it says it's in B-ish, and that's very true. It's kind of somewhere between B and B-flat, really. Um, uh, but it's in tune with itself, and, uh, I, you know, I don't think I was going to be playing it in the band anyway. Um, so, yeah, here's La, La Petite uh, miniature um, curiosity, and uh, we'll have a look inside it, and then we'll attempt to play a tune on it. So uh, here's... The La Petite um, miniature melodeon. I uh, have to hold it up to the camera because it's so small. Um, uh, it says solo accordino and it says here metalline reeds. I don't know what that, that means. Um, let's have a look. Oh yeah on the front it says made in Germany at the top and uh, I don't know which way I hold it up. La Petite. So let's have a look inside it. Um, uh, this is very typical bellows construction for sort of pre 30s instruments. Um, the bellows were made in sections with a thicker bit in the middle here. You still find that construction on uh, bandonian bellows and things like that, but it's pretty rare to find on any melodeon that's uh, after the 20s. So uh, yes, let's remove these four little screws and see what we've got going on inside. Okay, let's have a look. So that looks remarkably familiar to me as uh, someone who's dabbled in other free reed instruments, like the reed plate from a harmonica. I think what they've done is taken a harmonica reed plate and put it in. So there's brass reeds, which must be what metalline is supposed to mean. Um, uh, and it's on a brass reed plate as well. So yeah, so the stops clearly don't do anything. They're there to look like a melodeon that's got stops. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's, not, there's no other voice to change. It's just a single voice. And inside the left hand, oh, well, I'll show you through the bellows because it's a bit fiddly to take them all off. But there clearly was a third cord in there. I don't know if you can see properly. Um, try and get the light on it better. So you've got two reed plates there, the base one and the cord one. And they're on heavy old looking plates. I presume that's zinc, maybe. It actually looks a bit like lead, but I don't think it will be. Um, and uh, each, so there's one base reed. And here you've got three little brass reeds on a single cord one um, and just a single valve to cover the other three the other way but yes this chamber here clearly must have had another reed of some sort 
wonder whether it was a uh, another base read it looks like it probably was and the air button holes here so that's not an air button we've done some discovering work okay we'll put it back together again so there we go back together again uh, very important with those little screws um, not to over tension them and look it's even got its own little growl box here to do it and that's giving a better look at the buttons themselves just a little spring in there yeah well we'll go and try and play a tune on it for you so let's attempt to play something on this uh, on this little tiny squeeze box then shall we uh, it doesn't have any straps but it's you know, it's fairly light I'll tell you what it is it's fairly leaky so here the air coming out of there um, so I'll just take you through the the scale it starts on the third button like it should do A couple of reads not sounding properly I think I can probably fix that uh, with a little bit of work but uh, one thing it, it, it does have and the, well, let's um, have a look at the left hand first so uh, yeah not normal uh, so left hand what what it is is it has the high higher pitch octave down the bottom so and I have a dreadful thing in my head whereas if I if I can hear I'm in that top octave I start playing um, <laughs> top octave fingering <laughs> so uh, uh, yes I might make a mistake here so uh, yeah I'll give you a little Morris tune or something on it um, can't get my head around that and if I try and play it in the top octave we'll get the reeds going on. Yeah I suppose it's uh, kind of like an Anglo concertina in its sound. Um, the reeds still actually surprisingly strong and as you can see on the front they're metalline reeds. Yeah, la petite, a bit of fun. <laughs> See you in the next one.